everyone, welcome back to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to show you how I made this super beautiful three-tiered cake tray. Um, you can use it for cupcakes, um, you can use it for barbecues, really the options are endless but mostly it's just super beautiful decor in your kitchen until you find a use for it. Um, I love having different things in my kitchen or above on my cabinets that just really pop and stand out to people so that way it doesn't look so plain. And that's kind of what I had in as an idea here or as like a little girl's birthday party and little cupcakes. But that's beside the point. I just got so excited over this and I wanted to share that with you. So let's go ahead and get started on the how-to. <laughs> I started this project off by making a solid layer with these opal flakes and this whole thing is opal inspired so I thought that that would be perfect to put it under there. It gives it a really cool um, holographic looking effect and you want to make sure that you're doing a solid layer and let that almost cure um, at least enough to the point to where you can lay another layer on top. You just don't want to do it immediately, otherwise your colors are going to mix in with the glitter. So make sure this first layer hardens. After that, we're going to get started into the making of the actual effects right on top. Now for the colors, I did use Buddy the Elf, Atlantis, and I also mixed up some black with translucent blue and translucent green. But when I ended up doing the third one, I decided that I didn't need to do that particular color again. So really, the majority of the color um, would just end up being the Buddy the Elf and Atlantis. After mixing up your colors, you do want to have quite a bit of clear. I did not have enough clear. This is my first time working with this mold, so I definitely underestimated how much resin would need to go in it. And so I needed to mix up more clear. I want to say the first layer took about six ounces because I did it super thin and spread it around. You can even see that there's some spots that are um, holes to where you can see down into the mold. But really, that part didn't really matter too much. And then the clear layer, I want to say it ended up being about... 10 ounces. Um, shoot, honestly, I think it might have been more. So I'd say I can't give you an exact measurement on this one yet because I haven't done another cake stand after this one. But as soon as I do, I'll come back on this video. So just make sure you're checking in the description below to see if I have updated that particular information. So I'm going to work on the largest one and the smallest one, and then I will come back and do that medium one after I mix up more resin. So the base technique is going to be exactly the same though. You want to start out with clear epoxy. Do not put your colors first. Just do clear epoxy and you're going to fill it up um, almost all the way. You actually only want to have a little bit of room to pour colors because your colors are not going to take up a lot of space. And you'll notice that as you watch me here, I'm just putting a little bit of colors. I'm going to use the heat gun to move it around.
And you'll notice that I pull in a cutting board to go underneath this. The reason I did that is because I thought my molds, my table wasn't level or something, but it actually turns out the molds were not leveled and they were pulled up on the edges. And so it wasn't leveling out properly. And so I'm actually gonna need to get some like double-sided tape. So that way the molds are held down. And that was um, an issue that I had run across. Now, after you use the heat gun, um, you actually don't even need to use the heat gun. I do want to kind of prerequisite that. You can. It's going to give you a little bit more of a feathery look. But really, I just used my finger and kept tapping all the colors together. You don't want to over tap because you're just going to muddy it all into one color. And if you notice, I'm going to leave a lot of clear showing through still. That's how we're going to get this opal effect seeing down into that um, holographic glitter color. And then if you're gonna use a blowtorch to pop bubbles, which I do recommend, um, but I also don't recommend. And the reason being is because cheap molds like this, any type of heat really makes it stick to the resin. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, so if you are going to use a heat gun or a blowtorch, you wanna make it extremely fast. The heat gun you can be a little bit slower on, but the blowtorch, um, even the little one that I use, you have to be very quick and you don't wanna focus on the edges. Otherwise you're gonna have the resin sticking to those edges when you're trying to demold and it is not pretty. After I finished, I put all the silver pieces together and they were total crap. They actually would not um, catch thread and so I had to super glue that and then I ended up piling up some really pretty rocks around the middle. I don't have a picture of that on here because I already put it up at my booth in the mall, but I will post a picture of that on Instagram next time I go in. All right, let me know what you thought of that three-tiered cake stand. What are some uses that you found are fantastic for them? I wanna hear it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, everyone.